run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today back again, jumping into another indie title that I wanted to spotlight. It's called Little Big Workshop. Now, Little Big Workshop is a management sim. You know, I like a lot of the management simulator type of games. And you basically have your own shop. You see, they look kind of like Santa's helpers, but you're actually gonna grow this business where you're satisfying all their needs. Almost like the kids are requesting all these things. We make them, but we sell them and we make money. And then you continue to grow your factory and your workshop immensely until you just take over the game. So I'm real interested. I looked at a little bit of it. I haven't played it. We're gonna go into this blind. Uh, we're gonna call this, we're gonna call this Macro Wares. Macro Wares is our factory. So let's check this out. We look at a little bit of it again. I haven't played this at all. Let's see, you can sell or scrap workstations for spare parts. I'm sure it's in the vein of the like the factory based games, assembly line, factorio type of games. So if you like these indie games, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this with others to check it out and hit me in the comment box. Hit me with some feedback. Let me know what you think about this game. Let me know if you've played it or seen it, if you're interested in it. All right, and I'm gonna keep these indie games coming, man. You know, I love showing off some of the indie games and playing these different titles. So wow, it's like you're on a little table. It's almost like you're, you know, you're it's the, the human world and you have this little thing like a toy on your desk. Okay, you can move the camera. Okay, you can hold your right click. Uh-oh, phone call. Do I click on that? Hello there. I just opened up a new shop close to your factory. And seeing as you are new here, maybe we can help each other out. Get yourself a workbench and take a look around. I'll call you in a bit. All right, so we purchased a workstation from down here. Woodworking station, you gotta start somewhere. And that somewhere is with manual labor. Okay, workstation stats, 25%, whatever, 25%. Okay, I don't even know what those symbols mean. Choose a place to choose where to place the selected shop item hint you shift click to place several of the same type okay r standard key to rotate the item before placement hold control for free placement okay uh i don't know where room to start in but since this is the first door see i figure since this is where the cars would go the workstations you own determine what your factory can do. Since this is where like our shipping cars will be, I figured this should be the last line of defense, not the first. So I want to put it here, but at the same time, this will be like where we stock stuff to go shipped out. So maybe we should do it in here. I'm gonna go with my gut and say we'll we'll start in here. How about that? And then we'll export it around that way. All right, bam, right there. Why did our move go down negative five? Accept the order to have your new workstation delivered. Yes. Order workstation take a while to be delivered and to install. Okay. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yo, look at that. It's me, Mario. The <laughs> dude don't know where he going, man. What you doing, bro? <laughs> look at these people over here. I like the little art style with this, man. I like their little characters. And they look like them things you buy down the stores with all of the, from everything from, you know, Mario to Frozen to, you know, uh, with the big heads. I forgot what they're called. They little toys and collectible items that everybody gets. The Flacos or something like that. Okay. So let's see what they do. It's here. Okay. Bam, there we go, there we go. You got yourself a workbench, I see. My stock of garden gnomes are getting pretty low. Can you make me a couple? Okay, plan out how this production t should be done. So go to plan, 49 days, 23 hours, okay. This is the planning mode. Here you can design and preview how each of your products will be created, okay. So you got wood, the actual crafting, carved wood known, plan one by microwares. Okay, design production process, choose materials, match target attributes, link workstation, logistics. Yo, this is gonna get complicated. This look like it'll get complicated. Okay, 
Square shaped nodes like these are product parts. These can be anything from small wood planks to complex sub assemblies. Circle shaped nodes like these are operations. These are the actions performed by your workers on different kinds of workstations. This is the final product based on your current plan. Got it. The operation node needs to need a workstation to carry them out. Okay. Right click. Operation node needs a workstation to carry them out. Click on a workstation to link the current operation to it. Oh, okay. So you got to hit that, then right click on that link. Currently linked to woodworking workstation, 25%. Put your plan in action. Okay. All right. It took a second to figure out, but we got it now. So it delivers the materials. Okay. Truck arrived at loading bay. Designate a storage area for your materials. Now should I put it close to the workstation or should I put them in here? I guess I'll put it right here for now. Keep track of the progress. And I might have to move this because I don't know if this is the the wood or if this is the known. Is this is the input items or the output items that they're storing? So is he gonna keep bringing more wood and placing it here? Okay, 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 cool. Use these controls to speed up time. Okay. Oh, so it stores both. Hmm. See, I would like to have it where my output is here, so it'll go to the truck. Okay, let's go back to regular speed. Okay, deliver your finished product. Okay, now since the workshop does work like this, again, I keep talk, harping on this. I maybe want this here so they could go directly out once they're ready to load so it doesn't take as long. Okay, the truck has arrived at the loading bay. Speed this up. Yeah, if I can relocate these, I am going to and going to put them here. All right. Access your economy summary to make sure you, you made money. Okay. After this introduction, workers will start to charge you for their time. Okay, D, operator productivity. Okay, I just got the shipment of car wood known. They look amazing. People are already eyeing them as they get unloaded. I hope we can keep this partnership running. Payment received 3150, experience 3375. Okay, 3132. Let me pause this. Estimated material cost minus 18. Estimated payments received 3150. Okay. Two operators, new inventory negative. 2490 payments received 3150 so we got 657 uh total but we didn't have to pay the workers so it'll probably be less than that in the future all right cool another phone call hi again the new gnomes are a hit and i want to put up more of them for sale can you make some shelves so i can use that all right so let's plan out the shelves Eh, okay. Attributes define the quality of your product. 2 to 4, target 2, 6 to 12, target 10. The contract has attribute requirements. Attributes are determined by the parts and the materials used. Okay, right click. Choices with red background are impossible to match requirement with your current setup. Either make other selections elsewhere in the plan to make the selection possible or choose something with a clear background, okay? Select the material to make this product. Okay, so one to two, three to four, two to four, two, and then 10 to 12, 10. Okay, bright wood, 
dark wood. So I'm gonna go with bright wood. Okay, so, oh, so we want, so hold on, let me see. If I go with dark wood, three to four and 11 to 12. Okay, we don't want that. Ah, uh, okay, that'll be two to three, so the target is two. That'll be 10 to 11, the target is 10 for the style, okay. Okay, and then that makes it exact. Okay, so let's link let's link that to the workbench. And let's link that to the workbench. Okay, plus one. So that's gonna make this wood plank, that's gonna make this corner piece purchase a workstation that can perform this operation. Get the required workstation. Okay. So now we need an assembly station. Okay. Dog, I would have liked that to fit there. Uh, let me rotate around so I can see. Now, will they have, since I got that there, will they still have space? I would rather that be there. Let's see, can I move this? Can I relo relocate this? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I don't want them to have to walk that far though. So for now, for now I'm gonna place this right here by the doorway. Yes. Now we'll buy our new assembly station. Yes. Okay, noise, negative 10, okay. Now let me finish planning my product. Okay, it has to be delivered. So let's go on and order that. Let's go on and order that. Can we get that delivered? Can we get that delivered? Come on guys, let's go. Let's go, go on and work on that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's slow it back down. Okay, and then let's link this here. Okay, so it's two and 10, that's exactly what they want. Um, oh, you can pick the cut, straight cut, okay. We're gonna link that here. Everything's linked up. Everything's ready to go. And how many do we need for this order? I forgot how many they said they actually needed. I'm gonna assume it's five. Or is it eight? Follow the checklist. Okay, how can we see how many? Okay, it is five. Okay, it is five. So let's go. Let's go. We'll speed it up a bit. Okay, one of your workers ran out of energy and collapsed. Oh man. Uh, break rooms let workers recover fast. A worker has collapsed from exhaustion. You can prevent this by making sure there are always plenty of break points available in your break rooms. Okay, so we need to make a break room. Coffee Maker 2000 will fill all your needs. Okay. So let's place this here. Place more items in your break room to increase the break point recovery. Okay, let me order that. Oh, Vendatron, 1800 Oh, we got a little bit of money, though. Somewhere for weary workers to gossip and debate who is actually running this place. <laughs> Foosball, chess table, radio, break table. Cool it down, 4K. For all your snack and beveraging needs. Television, game console. So, how did you get him to the break room? Place more items, okay. That's 1,800, that's 800. So we'll put this in here so they can sit down and gossip, as they say.
if I can get this thing to keep rotating. Okay, there we go. Let me put that on the side. And let's order that. Can he get up? <laughs> His battery is still recharging. Okay, let's see. We'll put a snack machine right here. Let's order that. Okay, everything else is locked. All right, let's speed this up. Now, is it a way that I can check his status I'm wondering you know I don't want him passing out <laughs> was he just on his phone or was she on her phone alright so we have vending machine okay well, at least we have one guy finishing out the contract so that's cool this person wakes up okay move disable cell we'll unlock as the tutorial progresses okay all right so it looks like right now all we can do is wait this is the only person working this guy is passed out okay all right now he's back in the game now he's back in the game yeah gonna take you a little break get it together man get it together man Okay, 90%. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let me play. And let's deliver. The truck is in route. Let me go on and speed that up. It's cool, they help the truck load up. Nice. I just got the shipment of Shelf ADM. They look amazing. People are already eyeing them as they get unloaded. I hope we can keep this partnership running. Payment received 2500 and we gain 930 experience. <laughs> Gnomes and shelves. I reckon that I'm set for a while. I'll get back to you later if something new comes up. Meanwhile, you should check the market. There are a lot of other folks around here that need all kinds of supplies. Laters. All right, so we use the market to find more work. This is the general market. Products here are requested continuously. You can use them as a stable source of income, okay? Choose a contract or offer on the left to see more. Okay, so we got basic, we got challenges. Okay, got it. Challenges, okay, medium. Complete the bronze milestone set. Okay, so somebody wants a sandbox kit. These tags give you a rough idea of what kind of production that is required. Plastic, small project size, mass production. A small play kit with a shovel and a bucket. Good for teaching engineering skills to children at a young age. Okay, seven of seven, 120, plan product. Complete some products to sell here. All right, so how do I select? Okay, got it. This shows you the current price and demand of the products, okay? These are the attributes you must surpass for your production to be accepted, okay? Overall, this product isn't very suitable. It's got a low demand, average price, and it requires a plastic workstation you don't own yet, okay? So the demand, okay, so you see the red dots, I guess that's the other demand. Remaining amount you can deliver. All right, let's check this one out. This product is quite simple to produce, has a high demand, and the pay is decent. A much better option than the previous one. Okay, so we really got to pay attention to this. 65 units. 460. Okay, these are high. A quaint little cottage for your favorite doggos and their tiny puppers. Okay. So let's go with this one. Complete product sale. Plan this product. 
all right so we need to be one to two or three to four two to six four to eight the target is one the style is four but i guess this range is okay okay so one to three and we link it to the workstation Okay, one to three as well. Okay, why isn't it, what am I doing here? Okay, so we gotta go down here. Okay, detail simple. Now, if it's more, is that a problem or no? Choose an operation type for this. What about if I do it this way? No, okay. Okay, we'll keep it there. Now, what I'm doing is better than what they're requiring, but so is that a good thing if the target is one and I'm better than that? Is that a good thing? It is in green, so I'm assuming red would be worse. Since it's better, we at least meeting it or surpassing it. I just want to make sure that you want it to be exactly the target and that surpassing it is a good thing. So I'm assuming surpassing it is a good thing. So am I supposed to do one or 65? That's a little confusing too. Okay, set your target amount to seven products. Okay, but where does it say that at though? It doesn't, I don't see it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. Inspect your workstation by right clicking on it. This job is going to take a really long time to finish. Sort cues based on, okay. Found in one form and another in every factory, a spacious desk where you can piece things together. Okay. Order another assembly station. Okay. So we'll put it right here. All right, let's order that. Now, do we have enough employees for that? Or will once this person cuts up enough, both of them will jump there. Okay. Split this Q item into two. Ah. Ah, okay. Transfer one of these jobs to the new workstation. Okay, how do I do that? Send this entry to the back of the queue. Move this entry to another workstation or billboard oh okay the thing got to be built first <laughs> let me speed this up I mean, I can split it, but the thing got to be built first. Okay, there it is. They delivering now. All right, there we go. Now nah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so three. Okay. You also need to hire more workers. Here we go. Hire one operator. Do I choose? Recruit. Oh, okay, those are the two I already have. Okay. Now the splitting thing still didn't make entirely the sense to me because I would have felt like the jobs would have been in one and then I would have split them to two, but you know, let me look at this again. Okay. No, 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 
It's a disaster. The gnomes you made for me are already sold out, and I need more now. I'll pay you anything. Well, we got another job in front of yours, man. Okay, carved wood gnomes. All of that is still the same. Ready for production. They need six. Okay, so I don't really have to change anything. Everything's ready to go. This project needs to be prioritized. Hover over the tracker and click the priority button. Move this project to top priority. Okay. Complete both projects. Okay. Let me speed this up. Okay, so this person's still working on the gnomes. Trying to get that out. So we stalling on the other one. All right, bam, let's go on and deliver them gnomes. And then let's get back to the other order. Let's get back to the other order. Okay, just got the shipment of car with them. They look amazing. People are already eyeing them, blah, blah, blah. Payment 2100, experience 50 on 50. You can check your relation with customers here. Okay. Oh, so this cool. This really help you with managing a business because you learn to keep up with your customers. You can switch and see the different clients with these tabs. Cheap, small orders, random, <laughs> crazy. Product examples, okay. Crazy Steve is a kooky fellow that runs a flea market industry and wants all kind of wacky products for his various customers, acquaintance. Okay, so you have a level. As you build your reputation with customers, they will become more friendly, pay better, and request production from you more frequently. You can switch between these tabs. Okay, client relations. Switch and see the different clients with these tabs. Okay, these products are ready to be sold to the general market. Open the market offer. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I gotta go back here to sell these. Deliver. Okay. Now how do I close this though? Now it's in the way. Now it's in the way. I, I wanna close this. Escape. Inspect your workstation by right-clicking on it. Service this workstation by clicking on this button. Okay, view your career goals and progress here. Certificate of, <laughs> certificate of Awesomeness. Graduate from the in-game tutorial. Nice. Deliver more than 100 products. Complete at least three client challenges. Okay. The help session contains more detailed information about how you play the game. Okay. So we getting some repairs, research and development. Okay. All right. This section is used to upgrade and improve your factory. Each upgrade may cause varying amounts of upgrade points. These are earned by delivering contracts or by completing challenges and milestones. Simply point to an upgrade, read more about it, and then click if you like it. Oh, you can read more. Ah. Uh, okay. Now where was that at again? Now nah, I done lost where that was at. Milestones, okay, research and development. Uh, let's see, we have one point, billboards. Billboards are used to link workstations together. This allows you to control and assign jobs to them as a group rather than individually. Ah, that might be a good thing. Storage management, Impl improves your logistics by using special zones throughout your factory. I like that too. I'm gonna do this one since this, this ad, since this is the first one. We're going to unlock this one first, billboards. All right, cool. I don't even know how to use it, but we got it. So we go back here. Woodworking, metalworking station. Okay. Injection press, sewing station, small foundry, paint station, billboard, scrap container, get rid of all those pesky spare parts. Large shelf, small shelf. Efficient storage that causes no obstruction. If you can't store your stuff in this, it's better you just put it on the floor. Okay. Alright guys, so cool. So I like this. I like this. I'm gonna have some fun 
micromanager my little warehouse, my little shop with my gnomes. So we're going to start this right here. But let me know what you think about this one in the comment box, guys. I, I think this one's going to be good. I think this one is going to be good. I think we're going to enjoy this one, guys. I think we're going to enjoy this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue playing this and uh, building out my factory. And I don't believe this is an early access, so they've really developed and fleshed this game out already quite a bit. So now we just got to get some more jobs and uh, keep it keep it moving, keep it growing. And I got to really learn what all this stuff means and uh, how to really, really continue to develop my relationships, get the right parts, you know, inventory, keep track of all your parts, your products, your machines. Okay. And just really go through things, keep my employees happy and such, grow and research. And uh, yeah, de develop these products and deliver these products. All right, guys. So again, hit me in the comment box, like, subscribe, share, and we'll be back for more with Little Big Workshop. All right. Charles Macro, Little Big Workshop. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the Mac.